It is now time to catch you up on everything that's happening with high school football sports this morning with our Great Day Pep Rally, sponsored by BMW of Des Moines. We have with us, of course, the experts Larry Kotler and Tony here to catch us up on what's going on because this is an exciting time right now. We're getting into the playoffs and who's heading to the Unidome and all that excitement going on. So, Tony, break it down. For well, me. the tickets will be cashed in the night to get to the Unidome and then it'll all get really real up there. Um, here in Central Iowa, of course, Dowling Catholic, the defending state champs in Class 4A. Right now, the road to the Dome is through Lewis Central at Council Bluffs. It's a rematch during the regular season. Dowling didn't play great. Larry did that game. Right. But uh, Lewis Central has surprised a couple of teams already here from the CIML area. So uh, can they do it again? I don't think so. Dowling beat them pretty easily, even though they didn't play great, 38-14 to 14 the first time. They get them here instead of in Council Bluffs this time over at Williams Stadium in Des Moines, which is the home of the Scarlets and Grandview University. So uh, The reason I don't, and if I might jump in here, because when I, I did see the first Dowling Catholic uh, Lewis Central game, mm -hmm. it was the week after the Valley game. Oh, okay. And you always wonder, I know they kept talking about, you know, is there a letdown? And there has to be a psychological letdown when you've beaten your opponent. I mean, you've beaten your arch rival and then you go on the road and play. So Lewis Central wasn't bad, but I agree with Tony. I think the Dowling Catholic just going to be a lot more focused on them. Yeah, and last, on Monday night, they played Southeast Polk in the first half. It was 36 21. But really, watching that football game, I was there for the first half and, uh, they really kind of controlled things. They made mental mistakes more than anything. A lot of yellow hankies went out there and then a big play over the top where the safety tried to go for the interception and missed it. And that usually turns into a big play and Southeast Polk took advantage of that. Right. And so, but the second half, they went in there, made their adjustments and Polk was shut down and, and Dowling cruised to that victory last uh, Monday night. So uh, 50 to 21. So the, Dowling should have control of their own destiny and should get to the get They going. stay focused. They yeah. should be getting mm -hmm. a ticket to the unit. Yeah. And West Des Moines Valley, they had a couple of losses this year, but everybody knows how capable the Tigers are with their talent that they have. They take on ninth-rated Johnston, who really has played great defense this year consistently all year. That's the Dragons' monitor, but can they score? We'll see how they played in, uh, against Valley tonight. That's number nine versus number six in my rankings, but I, I think Valley kind of controls that destiny, but Johnston's uh, looking for another big win and knock off Anthony Centennial on Monday night to get to, uh, to the spot, so we'll see. Don't, don't you think out. that the key to that game, though, is, is how they start? Yeah. If Johnson gets off to a lead, if they can find a way to get a lead in the ball game with that defense, I would think that they have they have a pretty good shot. Well, the offense needs to control the football a little bit. You yeah. got to keep the Tigers' offense off the field, and that's their problem. They haven't been consistent on offense. Uh, a lot of times right. they leave them, and they put it all on the defense to kind of keep things close. But uh, they're capable. But mm -hmm. I think Valley can, can control that ship, and we probably will see in the dome the. Instead of sometimes what we see in the quarterfinal round like tonight, Dowling Valley probably meeting in the Dome for the second time to try to represent Central Iowa at the state championship game. Do you guys so. remember when we had we did the Dowling Valley week for the pep rallies? Right. We did them out at, the, out, out at their locations. Yeah. Remember Tom Wilson said, we talked about that. He says, well, we always, we, we pretty much think we're going to play Valley twice a year. Because they end up meeting later Right, on, yeah. and, and that's what Tony's talking about, that they usually expect to play twice a year. Yeah. So, could happen again. We'll see. Obviously, Johnston and Lewis Central would like to make sure that doesn't happen, but <laughs> they'll try. Well, the Pella Little Dutch, uh, they're the top-ranked team in Class 3A. Right. And, uh, of course, uh, they're, gonna, they're the defending champions as well, but they have to travel. They got to go all the way to Davenport to play Assumption, who's a perennial power, and they yeah. used to play in the Class 4A class. Now, I don't think Assumption, uh, Pella's got a great offense, but they also have a great defense. I mean, they have been the team in Class 3A. Uh, they are the team to beat, but Assumption's always that capable team, kind of that scary team, and so we'll see how that, that, taking that road trip tonight could make a difference. We'll see what happens, but I really like Pella in this football game. And then uh, here in Central Iowa, 7th rated Norwalk takes on Dallas Center Grinds. Uh, DCG's not ranked, and the only reason I ended up dropping, they lost their last game of the year to Glenwood, but they lost their cl quarterback, uh, Claver, oh. uh, to that concussion, and he will not return. Uh, it's like his third or fourth concussion. Uh, Parents ooh. think wisely that uh, they're going to err on the side of safety and not That's let good. him play football because of all these recurring uh, concussions. Now, they did a good job, a great job last week in their win over Bondurant-Farrar, but 
Uh, uh, Norwalk is, uh, has Ransfield, a quarterback. That's a, they've played good defense this year. Their offense has been okay, not as good as I thought it would be this year. But I think this is kind of a toss-up game. We, we're going to definitely see one of these two teams over the Dome, but I think this would be a very competitive game tonight mm -hmm. over in Dallas Center Grimes. In 2A, Larry gets to go make this trip. And, you know, and we talk about rankings, and they're all for conversation pieces, but here's a number one versus a number three. Mm -hmm. South Tama travels to Albia. Albia's been at the Dome a few times over the last few years. They just haven't gotten the final job done, and that's winning the state championship. But this year, they look like the team in 2A. But you look at South Tama, they're scary. They do not allow very many points. Their defense has been fantastic all year. Albia's is the same. Which offense is going to really control things tonight is going to win this football game. I, I, I think it's going to be a kind of a, more of a slobber knocker than you think. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I think the defenses on both these teams are that good. And I, I don't think it's going to be that high scoring game. If it is, I'm going to be surprised. I'll just, I just think it'll be a lot lower scoring than these teams have put up numbers offensively over the year. So what team's going to be used to, con oh, we're in a tight game tonight because right. they pretty much controlled their own destiny all season long. So. All right, let's hit 1A as well. 1A Van Meters at South Central Calhoun. Van Meter, a team that started in my rankings, fell out early because of that loss to Madrid. Well, they avenged that loss on Monday night to Madrid by beating them. And now they take on a team who's had a lot of history in, in, in small uh, town football, South Central Calhoun, uh, to, to make it to the Dome a few times in years past went before they consolidated. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Van Meter's offense has been solid all season long. And uh, we'll I think they have a really good shot at making the Dome tonight. But South Central Calhoun, it won't surprise me if they do if they win that football game. Linville Sully is at Mount Air in Class A. Uh, Mount Air is an, a team that's only lost two games. It's lost two games, but they were both to 3A teams. So forget the record. They were a non-district okay. play. So they're they're solid. Eight player Colonesco is at third rated Newell Fonda. Colonesco really looking good for most of the season, and then they finally played somebody really good, and they got blown out. Can they? Re, uh, Newell Fonda has been a perennial power. And East Mills and Glidden Ralston, another uh, big matchup where Glidden Ralston, I think East Mills has pulled off a couple. Uh, they avenged the loss last week to Lennox on Monday night, but now can they take care of six rated Glidden Ralston? We'll see if they can do that twice in one week. Uh, Glenn Ralston at home, I like them a little bit too. So some big games. But other key game, West Branch, my number two, takes on five, six time, whatever, how many time uh, state champion Iowa City Regina at number one. Mm. Ah. Yeah. They're both in the same area, so they end up matching <laughs> up against each other. So there's a one versus two matchup there. And some other rematches in 4A, Kennedy and Washington, third and fourth ranked. Uh, Kennedy won their first game during the year, but it was a close one. It was back and forth. So this is probably in 4A the toss-up game of the four that will be played tonight. So some good games to keep in mind. A eye lot on. of exciting things yeah. happening. If well, people want to catch up on all the scores and who's getting the tickets to the Unidome, is there a great place they can go check well, that well, out? Well, the Iowa High School Athletic Association site, once the games go final, they'll post that. I A IHASSA.org, and then you can go check it out there. And they'll also post once all the games go final uh, the pairings for the Unidome as well. So it'll be. Okay. It'll be I might mention if they want to watch the I'll be a South Tima game, I'll be on NF NFHS. It's the National Federation of High Schools uh, website, NFHS.com, and you slash IASHSAA. <laughs> something like that. That's so easy to say. Something like that. Yeah, so easy. <laughs> this good you know, Iowa High School Athletic there Association. You go, there you go. Yeah. You'll find it. There you go. <laughs> All right, these guys aren't going anywhere. We're going to talk collegiate sports after we catch you up on some national rip and read headlines. This has been your great day, Pep Riley, brought to you by BMW of Des Moines. We'll be right back.